people like it's a blueprint to the game. Why not follow that blueprint? People, a lot of people want to go away and do the opposite of what the blueprint telling you how to do things in the music industry. But it's the blueprint to the game. So the blueprint was do Adobe because everybody got Adobe. <laughs> so side pocket. Oh, so oh, man, I heard you, man. I heard you talk about CEO J, man. Talk about that whole like that whole connection, like oh yeah, and that. that came out of nowhere, like. Shit, I think I, that's when I first picked up the camera. I was in the clubs and shit, trying to just get little footage and shit. Yeah. Then I saw y'all in there like the president and shit. <laughs> oh, so, God. you know, a nigga like me, like, hey, fuck that, I'm solo, so I'm, I'm feeling pressure. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, hell nah. But, shit, it was all love uh, though. Yeah, nah, see your okay, man, definitely. That, that, that my brother, that. But he did a lot of shit for me, man. But see your okay, he. You know, before anybody even fucked with Major, before anybody even gave Major a chance, before Major was Major, CEOJ had seen me. Everybody didn't want to fuck with me, CEOJ like, hey, bro, I, I fuck with Major Energy, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with Major. So every day, Major, um, CEOJ, he'll call me, you know, Major, do this, do that, learn this, learn that. You know, I'm going to help you with this, I'm going to help you with that. I mean, business-wise and personal life. You know, when I didn't, it's a long story, but when I didn't have nothing, uh, and I was on, um, a lot of people don't know this, side pocket, but, I don't know, wait. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but, you know, I was um, homeless. I was homeless for about, about three, three weeks, three, four weeks. You know, just didn't have no home or nothing, so CEO Jay helped me out. You know, helped me put, put me in the position to where, you know, I started gaining and gaining and gaining. You know, he taught me, you know, he taught me the business, he taught me personal life, taught, pretty much taught me everything. So he, he's something like, kind of like family member to you. Yeah, he, he's beyond family. He's a corner pocket. He's beyond family. So talk about, so talk about like that whole like, you know what I'm saying, that work, regular life, not regular life, but corner pocket. It's like, you know what I'm saying, like the business and the, your personal, your personal life, if that makes sense. Oh. Like how do you balance that? Oh, shit. <laughs> like you major, uh, but when you go home, when I go home, um, you Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Leon. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but that said though, with um, my personal life, like, man, I don't want really to do much. I don't want really to do much in my personal life. I'm gonna be honest. Like I play games and stuff, but I barely even do that. I just bought a PlayStation Five. Could have bought it like fifty times, but I finally just bought it because. My son said he wanted to play the game, and I had a PlayStation 4, but I remember him mentioning a PlayStation 5, so I was like, I'm just gonna buy me a PlayStation 5. So, so you, you watching the finals right now? No, hell no. Man, come on, man. Man, I'm too busy. Listen up. Monday, Monday, I got my meeting with um, Street Capital. I come back, I edit. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you see I've been doing two, three videos, three artists, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's nine artists in three days. I gotta get their music video back the next day. So I'm, I'm editing three music videos in one night and giving it back the next day. Friday and Saturday, I shoot, Fridays I shoot music videos like crazy because people off work, they got their checks. Saturday, who, tell me something, who in the finals? I don't know. Damn, well, you I'm working. Saturdays I shoot weddings, I shoot weddings, I shoot music videos, I do all of that. Sundays I'm doing the same thing. And repeat, I do this shit. I've been doing this shit for the past nine and a long. Shit, don't get married soon. Here, you uh, shoot my wedding. Oh yeah, for sure. You, you never seen my wedding videos? Oh, thanks. So. Oh, I got a wedding video right now. Got a hundred thousand views. But it's gonna be in Vegas though. Oh, it's gonna be in Vegas. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. We're gonna try to have a good time, you know. I don't know. But we'll figure that out. But we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> we'll chop that up later. But yo, man. So I mean. The only time I have personal time in my personal life is when I take personal time for myself. Yeah. You gotta keep in mind, man. You always gotta keep working. You gotta be ahead of the game. While you chilling, sleeping, not doing nothing, guess what? The next motherfucker, they, they taking a spot. So you always gotta keep working. Always. So like, man, you working, you know what I'm saying, doing all that, man. Let's let's talk about, you know what I'm saying, Cusco. Big Yeah, his, his whole movement, man, like, that, the video that you shot with him, him and Black Zack, man, talk about that whole experience, just. Oh, it was dope. You know, um, Black Zack jumped on, um, Black 
has that great record, you know, who's going to sign with Street Capital. And uh, once he signed with Street Capital, you know, now he got, you know, COJ and the videographer, he got a whole team behind him. So, you know, we just pushing the record, pushing the record. Uh, I'm doing what I'm doing, being major, promoting it, shooting it, getting the recaps. So um, we kept doing that. And then eventually, you know, shows, shows, everybody stopped booking. Cusco, you know, could they see the movement? Yeah. Once people see the movement, they want to be a part of that movement. So my whole goal, like I told my whole team, my whole goal is we shoot the arm, um, recap that night, night, we drop that shit the next morning. So we can show these folks we ain't playing. Yeah. So night, shoot the video, next morning, it dropped. Everybody see what was going on last night. So we did that. So I'm I'm assuming Black Zach seen the movement shot. Black Zach seen the movement and he fucked with the record because it is a hot record, you feel me? Yeah. So Black Zach wanted to jump on it. So Black Zach here, yeah, Kuzco, let me jump on that shit. For the, for the, you know what I'm saying? Off the love. Oh, man. Let me jump on that shit. You know, that's, that's what, you know, what really happened. But, um, then, um, damn. Then, um, so Black Zach jumped on the shit. You know, we heard, we heard it. You know, everything sounded good. So Kuzco was like, you know, shit, let's make it happen. Jared, like, shit, let's get major to shoot it. So we linked up, shout out to Starlight Studio. We linked up, you know, had the whole team with us. We had um, Mary Mac. Um, Brie, did you come? I was not there. Brie wasn't there. I was at a concert. She, she was at a concert, yeah. guys. Slack. Yeah. 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 So she, she was in the spirit, though. Yeah. That's what yeah. Spirit. Yeah. spirit. Yeah. Mary, Mary Mac pulled up. Man, shout out to all, oh, shout out, shout out to our people, man. And shout out to all the people, man. It's oh, June. Man. Celebrate Juneteenth. Always, every day. But yeah, so, but yeah, so we um get the video. Um, shout out to Migo, you know Migo Worldwide. Yeah. So uh, I told Jay, I was like, Jay, you know what I feel like doing? He was like, What's up? I said, I feel like we put um hit up Miko because you know I fuck with Miko. Me, me and Miko were folk. So I was like, Hey Miko, you know pull up to the shoot, bro. Woo -woo -woo. You know I gave him the record and everything. Jay talked to him, whatever. So Miko Worldwide put up. Fuck with the record. Miko Worldwide, Miko Worldwide put up. Black Zach pulled up. We shot the shit, you know, everybody was out there, tip TV, all of them. Had the whole gang out there, um, Juice, um, Big Side, like everybody came to support. And um, Jennifer, shout out to Jennifer too as well. She um, on, um, she's on the club, paparazzi. She pulled up, started. Well, my was my boy out there? Who? I know my boy was out there, he's a superstar. Who? Superstar Trent. Trent? Yeah. He probably was, I, don't really, I didn't really know everybody. Yeah. I didn't really know everybody. I know it, it was some names out there. You know, 48 Roy, all of them, like, it was some names out there, but I wasn't really focusing on Corner Pocket. I wasn't really focus, focusing on who was out there. I was focusing on making sure I get the best shots, you feel me? I mean, the best shots. Okay. So, um, we did that. We dropped the record. Shit, it was on from there. Yeah, I see, man. Cause <laughs> like, man, like, like, really, man, like, I'm not, like, shit, I'm gonna put all the highlights on you. I ain't gonna cap, like, shit. Talk about G Herbo, man. Like, like <laughs> man, I, I was fucked up when I saw that. I was like, damn, like, damn, this motherfucker is major. Hey, For real. I don't want to speak too much about that situation because I ain't. But anyway, shout out to G Herbo. But uh, I really want to give a big shout out to Loopy. Uh, Loopy put me on that. Yeah. Uh, Loopy, um, Loopy Gang. Um, Loopy plugged in, you feel me? Loopy introduced. We can say, I got the song, we need to make it happen. G Herbo, G Herbo, I let go, and shit, we made it happen. It's not really a big story with G Herbo, you feel me? It ain't a story that I can sit here and go around and say, yeah, me and G Herbo, this and that, this and that. Nah, it's G Herbo, good people, you know, shout out to G Herbo, but I fuck with Luffy. Straight up, Luffy. But G Herbo, good people, though. Okay, good okay. People. We made it happen, you know, I chopped it up with him. He, Loopy had to clear the record. Once Loopy cleared the record, it was game on. All right, so you know what I'm saying? You was, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget about Benny the Butcher. See, you see that? You, <laughs> nah, yeah, I did. So, look, this was this is what I was about to say. Come on, so, this is him. I was going to say, you already up north, so we're going to keep it there. So, we're going to go ahead and go to New York Ten and tap in with Benny the Butcher. Yeah, so we, you know, big shout out to Loopy again. <laughs> Benny the Butcher. You know, Loopy plugged in, like, you know, 
Shout out to Ben, ben in the book on um, Butcher though, man. BMF. Um, shout out to Calico Jones from BMF. Uh, all the boys, you know, like all the boys show me love. You feel me? Um, Benny show me love. Pulled up at the spot and shit. Show me mad love. It was pretty dope, man. So like being a videographer in the game, man. Like tell me, like tell me the like the whole thing, man. Like how is it, man? Just working with these different artists, and you know that comes with different kind of requirements and shit like that, different kind of pressure. Yeah. Like how you, how you deal with that? Cause I know you you shoot people videos and then they want that shit back in two hours. <laughs> you know. I, when I shoot that video, they bug me. I know. That's, that's a, I know until they get their video back. Cause something about me is if you if you call me and ask for your video, and I'm trying to do some, I'm trying to do a dope ass edit, and you calling me and calling me. If I answer that phone, I feel like I'm frustrated. I'm just gonna edit your video and get the fuck up on. Yeah. Right. But I knew now I'm not to answer the phone. Like I hit them up and be like, yeah, I got your video coming. And they call me back the next day like, what a video I? I don't pay no attention. I give you a video once I give you a video. Now, do you do you deal with people where have you dealt with a person that mm. they paid for the video, you done the you done mm. the video, you did the four edits. Yeah. But they felt like the edits just wasn't good enough I didn't have that plan for what they paid. They felt like you could you you should have gave them damn um, you literal lemonade type money. This man, you know what I'm saying? You 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 pay for my package. I have a whole package list. You sit there and pay for my regular basic package, my cheapest package, which is the $500 package. You pay for that shit, that $500, pack, $500 package don't got no FX editing, no nothing. It says it right there on my shit. If you want that crazy effect, you gotta pay for that. If you want that crazy, crazy, crazy effect, pay Lyrical Lemonade on $5, $10, you can get that right there. But yeah, niggas really be tripping about that though. Oh, bro, add some more edits. Like, bro, you didn't pay for all that, bro. You only pay $500 for a video. You didn't pay for all that. And then, do you know how much? And I think one, one thing I can't stand is when the, mo when the motherfucker show me NBA Youngboy video. <laughs> or, or Fred O'Bane video. Word. Like, niggas, do you know how much that, you know how much they pay for a video like that? They blind. They just, they just see, they just see niggas drop a video. Yeah. And it looks like it. It can be done at a cheap level. But that shit ain't cheap. Do you know how much they pay for that video? The niggas, and then y'all were paying this video for 25, 3, 4, 5 thousand just to shoot a video. Fredo Bain paying 25, 3, 4, 5 thousand for their video. Nigga, y'all only can't make it five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a video. So shit, what you, what you, the young boy call you right now and be like, nigga, I need you full time. Get, get, mm, a young boy call me right now and say he need you full time. I'm yeah, yeah, I got that. That's fucking young boy. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jay? <laughs> Hey man, young boy just called me back. <laughs> but now, um, I mean, I can do no crazy effects. But once it gets to a certain level, like once it gets to like NBA Young Boy and the Fred O'Bain shit, I gotta pay somebody to do that. Like when you see Lyrical Lemonade, when you look at the credits for Lyrical Lemonade, you see Cole Bennett. Cole Bennett is the main shooter for Lyrical Lemonade. But you see, he got ten other people on his team. Exactly. You think Cole Bennett edit, 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 do everything by himself? Nah, Cole Bennett got to pay this person, he got to pay that person, he got to pay that person. So that's the reason why his video be 10, 15, 20, 30, 50,000. Because everybody got to get paid. So when it comes down to me, if you want a video like that, yes, I can make it happen. I just I know people who do edits like that. I just got to pay them three, four hundred dollars just to edit the video. And I gotta, you got to pay my price, you got to pay his price, you got to pay the next person's price. That's how it works. You pay for what you get. You want a $200 video, go ahead and get you a $200, $100 music video. Whenever you, whenever you take that shit to the a now or the music industry, they're going to look at that shit and say, what the fuck is that? Like, you don't, you don't deal with the, the A&Rs and, you know what I'm saying, just the whole music industry? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, shout out to um, um, Bobby Fischer. Um, Bobby Fischer, he's with Empire. He's the vice president of Empire. He's the one that, he's the one that give you the deal. He's the one that do all that. I mean, I'm like real close, you know. That's, man, that's fucked up, man. I wrote Empire, they ain't write me back. Bro, you probably you wrote Gozi. You probably wrote Gozi. I wrote Gozi, I wrote Empire Page. Nah, nah, nah. you probably write Bobby Fisher. Bobby Fisher ain't gonna answer though, but. Bobby Fisher? Yeah. Yeah, man, me and Bobby Fisher close. Um, shout out to L Nice. He's a, um, he break records. He got a, he broke a lot of records. He from Florida. He from Florida. You know L Nice? 
Let me hear. But I don't know about me. He got ball head. Yeah, he got ball head. I don't know. He ain't got ball head. My bad, L Nice. Hey man, we talk shit. What is all of that, man? But yeah, L Nice, he's um he he's doing this breaking um Cusco um another lit record around, you know, besides the Black Zach and DMB and all of them, but he's the one that's breaking the record um outside of South Carolina. Okay. So we got people working behind the scenes. It's, it's a lot to people don't artists don't realize you need a team to break a record. Don't think you're gonna do a song and the song gonna pop and my song hard and that's how the record broke. Bullshit. Record don't break like that. You do a song, you got a cameraman, you got a promoter, you got a marketing team. You drop that song, once you drop that song and the song catch a buzz, you got people like CEO Jay who's gonna put the bag behind the promotion and stuff, the radio, the marketing, all of that stuff. If you got the marketing person who knows everybody who knows all the DJs around the whole yeah. state, which is L Nice. El Nice go to the DJs, hey, play this record, move the move. Sometimes pay, you know, do what they gotta do. That's how you break the record. Artists feel like they can do it by themselves. Our artists feel like they don't need nobody. So, can a broke artist get rich? Yeah, for sure. I know I missed that. Yeah, um, a long time got an investor, yeah. No, I'm talking about just playing out broke. Like, he, he don't want no help. He think he can do it all. Oh, he no. just he just no. I'm I'm, no. I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him five bands. He five. giving out five bands. It's possible, yes. It's a it's a possible chance. But name an artist who was broke and didn't put no money behind their music or himself that made it. Name an artist. See, I don't know. I think they talking about like back in the day, like you know right. what I'm saying, right. like. P D to come to the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? No. Be like, oh yeah. No. No. The only way a broke artist can the only way a broke artist can make it in the industry is somebody hear that broke artist music and invest in one and invest into it. It takes two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to break an artist in one region. It takes two hundred and fifty thousand to break an artist in one region. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Yes, you can luckily Get broken, what I mean by luckily is the cheap route, the cheap way, not cheap way, but the lucky way. Now you gotta drop the whole 250 at one time. No, not at one time. Two, it takes 250000 to move a record. 250000 How much you think radio costs? Shit. How much you think radio? I ain't talking about no internet radio. I'm talking about how much you think radio costs. I don't even know. Okay, it costs money. I know this because I'm in the industry. I know this because I have been inside the room talking. I have been in there with CEO Jay talking to these big labels and all that. And he, that's the reason why whenever an artist get a record there, how much do an artist get? Two hundred and fifty thousand. You don't never see an artist get a fifty thousand dollar deal, seventy five. You always see two hundred and fifty thousand. Always. I think Boosie, uh, what Boosie off the code at twenty? That's Boosie. <laughs> Boosie can do that. I'm talking about <laughs> independent label. Independent artists, no buzz, no nothing, just working. You got to keep in mind, in order to get any shows, you got to pay for your shows. If you if you're an unknown artist, if you haven't been grinding, you just starting off, whatever, woo woo. Keep in mind studio time. Keep in mind videos. All of that stuff plays a part. All of that, all of that is within that two hundred fifty dollars. Then you got to keep in mind for somebody to service uh, for a DJ to service your record, it costs a couple of dollars. Yes, they can do it off the love, but eventually it's gonna cost. Because now you gotta break your record in another in another area that don't know who you are. Now you can be like, don't get me wrong, Cusco, Cusco had a buzz. Cusco was already, you know, being Cusco, he was already doing what he was doing, he, he, he's been doing it for a, a couple of years now. Yeah. So the only thing Cusco needed was a, a push. He needed an enhancement. Like you can keep doing what you're doing, but you're not gonna make it nowhere. You can just keep doing, keep doing these shows, whatever. That's not going to do nothing. Just, you're just doing shows and that's it. But once you have that team, you have that movement, if you got that bag put behind you, it ain't going to do nothing but enhance. Enhance, enhance. Just like a spring break. We went to, we went to Florida. Uh, Cusco, uh, us. You seen that footage when we went to Florida? Yeah. We went to Florida. That shit cost. Florida, we ain't go up there for free. That shit cost. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The room. You know that's what I'm one saying? trip. How much you think that trip cost? I don't even want to say. Okay then, that <laughs> shit cost. That shit cost. Two hundred fifty thousand. Not two hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> two hundred and fifty. But anytime, anytime you shot. Anytime, I ain't mind you for two hundred. Yeah, you gonna miss that. 
<laughs> Anytime you're pushing a record, just keep in mind, $250,000 to break a record. And I'm not saying, oh, you need it. If you don't have, if you don't have two hundred fifty thousand, you can't blow up. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that just a that just a normal and an average way to blow up a artist. You know, ain't shit free. Just because you got a hot record, that don't mean nothing. That shit don't mean nothing. That shit don't mean nothing. And I had to break all the spirit, corner pocket. So uh, you being in the industry, obviously you're on the go twenty four seven. Yeah. Like, talk about that whole road experience. Like, you on tour right now. How, how do you balance that? Like, knowing that, you know what I'm saying. You got, you got danger out here. Oh yeah, I have faith in God. Yeah, I have faith in God, and I pray before I do anything. Before I do some shit that I feel like that's stupid. As in, like, if I know an artist got some stupid shit going on, I just pray for the best and just keep moving. Just try to stay out of the way. Try to create no beef. But obviously, people beefing out here with me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I see people be, hey, I see people beefing out here with me. <laughs> like, why, why, why they beefing with you, man? Like, I, I already know why. I can sense it. <laughs> he, he know what's going on. He just ain't saying that. Nah, <laughs> man, nah. Some, somebody may get mad because you shot that nigga video and they may, and, and, and they thought that, well, they, they want you to be loyal to them. It's like, why you shoot a video with my op? And it's like, damn, I don't really know none of y'all niggas. Let's say I'm I pull up, I shoot your video, I give you a video to leave. But yeah, people, believe it or not, people be feeling some hot boy. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. 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 I'm gonna be honest I got money too. Why you in my video like oh boy? Oh, why you ain't push me like you push oh boy or shit like that? Like, like it's, it's a lot of people who feel some type of way that I was pushing Cusco the way I was pushing Cusco. Like a lot of people, I ain't gonna say a lot of people, but I had people who sent me inbox like, bro, you 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 dick riding Cusco and shit, man. But don't want to push my record. Don't worry about it. When I see you, it's all smoke. Like shit like that. I'm like, yo, Cusco's my artist. You know. See, that's, that's the crazy part, because they talking about smoke with your head going to jail. But I'm over here like, hey, I don't have a dude who sat there and said, you better not show the police this. I said, I'm not going to show the police this, fuck. <laughs> I ain't going to, man, I ain't going to say who, I ain't going to say who, uh, but, nigga, I don't got deal with this. Motherfucker hit me up talking about he going to kill me and the dude that I interviewed. I'm like, for what? Yeah. But the thing about it, it, it was a little... Well, I ain't gonna say it was a fake page. Niggas just didn't have no problem. Well, niggas got, niggas be creating fake. Niggas was locked up or something like that, but I'm like, damn, like. Niggas be creating fake page. I got a nigga right now going around making it seem like I'm a police. I don't know if you've seen it. You seen that little shit they got, they got out on me? Oh, no. What, what's going on? Yeah, you know me. I like that shit all oh, out. <laughs> so I got, I got into a little situation. Not, not me. I didn't get no situation. But my girl. My old girl back in the day, like two, oh, two years ago. Now, hey, you know, hey, you gotta, you gotta get ready for this one. I'm, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show this to you. So, two years ago, right? I was in Atlanta and on the way back home, and a um, girl I was going down another shawty house. Beat, beat the hell out of the shawty, hit shawty with back, shawty with the hospital. Man. So, shawty called police, right? Talked to police. I was the boyfriend and everything, and um. Like the reason why we got to the is because of me. So the police put my name down. I'm gonna show you. You know, never talking about police or nothing. Yeah, you know, and come on, anybody who's sharing this and following, following up on this stupid shit is retarded. Because if you go into the police department or whatever, and you talking to these police, they gonna get your description. They gonna get all that, right? Correct. Okay. I ain't never been to the police department before, but let me show you something. So we're going around about me because somebody wanted to spread the shit about me. <laughs> you know I gotta bring this up right here. So somebody created a fake page and said that no statement, no nothing. It just showed that the girl mentioned my name. I'm, I'm assuming, and it, they just bringing it up. And they talking about AKA May. So the person, so what happened was, because I talked to the girl. The girl said they didn't know my name. She didn't know my real, real name. Yeah. So she just said, well, his name is Major. So what the police did, when the police looked me up, see my real name was Tucky, you know, my real name. So when they wrote it up, when they wrote up the incident, they wrote it up, but they just put my name in. 
So now people, now somebody's being petty and going around saying I'm the police. <laughs> Prove it. That's what I said. Like, Prove it some more. Like, hey, that's the, that's the only proof. Like, no, no statement. Nowhere saying that Tashi's, um, what Tashi Sutch said, this and that, this and none of that. Cause they don't got nothing there. They got nothing. They just got that. The girl just said that she just put my name in it, so the police just put my name in the situation. That's it. They ain't got no description, no nothing. Man, they ain't nothing but success, man. That's all they <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They always got to try to tear you down, man. So I like, had somebody wrote me, and somebody going around saying, hey, man, you're the police, bro. I'm like, I'm, I'm police, bro. You a rat. And I was like, I'm a rat. They, they sent me that. And I was like, you going around, you going around sending people this shit, bro? I said, do you know that's not even a statement? You know that just that just saying that that just saying that my name was in the report. Yeah. He said, Nah, bro, it got a witness on me. It ain't got no it got it, they they put my name up there just because they put my name up there. But do you know what kind of case that is though? Ain't nothing but a, a fighting case. They got a they you know what I'm saying? They they got a they, they got a either either they got to have your signature or they got to have even if you was talking and they were doing it for you, they still got to have your signature. Saying. And the statement and all yeah. that. Like you can you can do a verbal you can do a verbal statement. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? They gotta show it. So, so pretty much somebody didn't put my name in the uh, some them girls that put my name in the situation. Now they one dude, two dude, three dude who trying to sabotage my name by showing everybody this is what made you got going on on fuck with them. Damn, yeah, I know right. And I tell anybody, anybody who believe that shit, they can believe it. I don't give a damn because number one, I ain't no street man. I don't give a fuck about none of that street shit, bro. I'm not a street nigga within it, man. Like, you, you, you think they try to put you in this, this street nigga shit? Like, man, these just trying to just get up on somebody. Man, you know how many niggas be trying to put me with the street shit? I'll be like, nigga, I'm not no street. I ain't no gang. I ain't none of that. I ain't none of that shit. Nigga, I'm major, bro. One and two, that ain't no rap shit. You know how many niggas who know how that shit look? You sound stupid for even sharing that shit and telling people, hey, bro, major rap. So soon the next soon that motherfucker said, well, what did he say? I don't know, bro, but his name on the paperwork. Damn. Well, what's the paperwork? What, show me something else. I don't know, bro. That that just shows you that, you know, niggas just hanging on this nigga just trying to. So I like it. Hey man. Mm. Yeah, they mm. fucking beat mm. me, man. He cheated. I ain't cheated. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I let him win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, oh, yeah, man. But um, nah, but um, you got on first. Everybody want to hear this shit. Everybody want to hear what happened, what's going on. You got it first on Fargo on TV. For real. You got it first. No, everybody want to hear my side. Everybody want to hear my side. I'm over here like, I'm not finna entertain that shit. That's what I was talking about. I'm not finna entertain that because if you can show that I said something, then we'll go from there. Can't show nothing. Because nigga never said nothing. That just like, that just like, them two get into a fight, right? And they sit there and say, well, we was at um, Fergo TV, right? Fergo. Um, Fergo TV. Something. Oh, my God, I And they said, and they said, we was at Fergo TV, right? You yeah. ain't never talk to no police, you ain't never say nothing. So they got AKA Fergo TV and they got your real name up there because they, they, because they mentioned your name. Does that classify you as a rat or a snitch? Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, man. But, you know, you can't control people's mind. Fuck them. Fuck them. Keep doing what you're doing. Facts, for real. I do look good ass, man. But, hey, yeah, but, man, man, we're going to talk a little bit more, man. Like, the whole industry, man, you got the haters and shit like that, man. Talk about, you know what I'm saying, like, the, the deaths around the industry. Like, trouble, you know what I'm saying? He just passed away, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. him, and then got yeah. dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, does it kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, make you wake up a little bit, yeah, even sure. more? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Every one of them death. I be thinking about it like, yeah, at any given time, niggas can go. Especially when you start dealing with other people and people start looking at your success. Yeah. You know, people, you know, people, and most, it'd it be envy. It'd be motherfucker who, who was with you, they shitting on you, and you wind up ignoring them, and you kept growing, they'll come back and get you. Because they feel like they can't go nowhere, they feel like that's it. So that's how that's how the industry is. That and ambitious. Jesus Christ, the female will get you fucked up quick. Okay. How do how the females on the road, man? Oh no, I don't pay them no attention. I, I'm focused. I'm focused. I don't pay attention to no female. 
What 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 my man Steve Harvey? He said on love don't cost a dime. He said a man uh, doing all that working and no loving runs a man crazy. Okay. Now, you pay attention to the whole thing. Man, I mean, I mean, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you looking, nigga? Nah, hey, I see your jam. I only, I only pay no attention to no female. I really don't. How you think I met Mary? Did I pay attention to Mary? Nah. Okay. Somebody literally ripped my phone out of my hand and gave it to him. Yeah. And gave me. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't, yeah. Yeah. Literally. So. Yeah, we was like a, we was like a one-off type deal. Yeah, I, I don't I don't just I don't just like just go fuck around, man. Female get you fucked up out here, man. They sure do. They get you fucked. Ain't that right, Bree? I can't relate. Really, no. <laughs> Not currently. She got girl. In my past life. You feel like old girl when I'm gonna be a kid? Who? Uh, the trouble? Yeah, the one who be here. Yeah, for sure. For sure, hell yeah. For sure. Well, I mean, for sure. And, and it may not be her fault. It was her fault. But there you go. See, people gonna have their own answer. It may not be. It gotta be her fault. Like, think about it. It gotta be. Yeah. And then his man, what did they say? Trouble man, she was cool, but for real. Yeah. It, when she was like, uh. Like basically he was over there, you know what I'm saying? Like he was with his side chicken. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. still love him and all that, but I think she's just doing it, trying to get a chick. Yeah, Stay good for the family. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, she was probably saying fuck him, but when he died, it's like that's my that's my sorrow chicken. But nah, I mean at the end of the day, man, Mowbray female. Shuttle female. Dolph, female and cookie. Cookie got hit ass though. I'm gonna be so hey, but Dolph though, Dolph. You ever heard they said that Cookie was for um the Cookie? I mean, what they say? The Cookie was a uh, was a die for something 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 be so good that you could die for it something like that. Oh, I believe I don't you know. Never heard that whole statement mm -hmm. before. I die for them shit, but them shit good as hell. You ain't never heard that before. Uh. -uh. Yeah. I only like I trap know. music. I don't be I don't be in these streets. That nigga die over some Cookie. But he didn't die over no cookie. Them niggas knew that. Them niggas knew that was the favorite spot. That's all. It's dangerous out here. If you got a repeated pattern, you got a pattern that you always do every time you come back to your own hood. That's what happened. Yeah, that's what I always say. I'll switch up your route every once in a while. Yeah, sometimes you got to switch it up. Switch it up. It shouldn't have to be like that, though. It shouldn't. It, should, it shouldn't have to be like that. Yeah. That is the sad part. It shouldn't, but what you got to keep in mind is, but you gotta keep in mind that once you start making money, everybody ain't your friend no more. You ain't gotta be making money and people ain't your friend no more. Yeah, but it's worse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm saying at my level, it's getting insane. Like, I don't even do nothing. I'm still in the same tax bracket I was six months ago. They feel like you got money because of the way you move. They feel like I got money because of celebrities I be with. Yeah, celebrities that you be with. That's all it is. You be with everybody. Anyway, <laughs> look, bro, people think I'm a celebrity. I'm just a regular nigga. I gotta go work in the morning. Oh, I gotta go to work in the morning. <laughs> nah, it, 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 it gets, once you get to a certain level, and I'm not even at that level, but it gets scary. I mean, you know this, and you know this. You walk in the mall, you just chilling, whatever. Somebody walk up to you and be like, what's up, what's up, Angel, what's up? Like, what's up? Like, what's up? Bro, let me get a picture with you. All right, and I get a picture, whatever. And it's like, yeah, bro, watch everything you do, bro, man. Bro, man, your son, bro, I man, everything. I'm like, you know everything about me. I don't know nothing about you. So I got to get three or four. That shit be scary. Now, like yeah. I was telling you with the truth, I was like, yo, let's go get something to eat. He was like, yo, I can't go do that. And I, mean, I didn't, I grew up with him. So it was, to me, it was nothing. But I'm like, Mary, he is a, is a mega influencer. Yeah. Everybody he just, knows he just, him. He just can't. Once he just can't go and sit down and eat. Just can't, I can't be, I can't go to certain areas. I can't go to no clubs. Just to go to a club, I can't do none of that. The reason why is because I never know who genuinely likes me or who's gonna walk up to me and be like, what's up, Major? I fuck with your word. So when I walk outside the club, that's the same nigga who's gonna shoot me. Because I ain't know his messages. It's a lot of messages that I get that I don't respond to. Or I, I see it and I'll be like, I get like 10 other messages and I just respond to what, what I feel like responding to. Yeah, so, do, like, do you, like, do you judge how they write you first? 
Yeah. I'm like, nigga, I know you ain't talking to yeah. me. Fuck you. Well, somebody hit me like, <laughs> well, somebody hit me, what's up, gang? I'll be like, yeah. Uh, no. It depends. It depends. It's a lot of niggas that don't like me because sometimes I don't respond to them or either they follow me and they hit me up with requests. I got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, unread requests at like 99 and uh, I haven't responded to everybody yet. So if I'm not following you, you get my request. So it's like, not, a lot of niggas be like, yeah, bro, I wrote you a long time ago, bro, he ain't respond to me. And I be like, my bad, bro, let me, nah, you good, bro, don't worry, yeah, about it. <laughs> don't worry about it, bro, you know, it's all love, bro. It's, it's great, yeah. nigga be feeling some type of way. I had a DJ who felt some type of way. You know, he was like, I follow you, bro. I'm like, what's up? I said, major. He said, bro, I know who you is, bro. I saw my bad, he said, you don't know me? I was like, he said, nah, it's cool, don't dab me up, nigga. I'm like, damn. That could have been that same nigga I walked out in the club and then could have shot me. <laughs> See, I gotta wash my ass, man. I got a man, this nigga, he wanted me a manager. He hit me up, talking about, hey, bro, you'll be my manager. I'm like, man, I'll help you out. Like, yeah. like what you got in mind? What, what you expect from me? So, next thing you know, something told me the next day, this go on his page. Motherfucker already had my name in his bio as his manager. Oh, so yeah, like, he was trying to get that sign. So I'm tripping. I'm like, so I, I'm letting him play along. You know, ain't nobody hit me up about that nigga. Yeah. So, next thing you know, I'm talking to him again. I was like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Shit, it's going to be, I'm going to have to charge you this. You know what I'm saying? You got to <laughs> give me something. This nigga, like, hey. You want me hold nah, it? Nigga ain't talking to me since. For real. <laughs> and he mad at you. And we'll, nigga, we're going to ask nigga a that's good? Yeah, that's good. Um, Just hit the button. I've never went live a day in my life. Yeah. Just hit the button. Yeah. <laughs> Don't so, judge me. Now, let me tell you something about this. Um, now you feel some type of way about it. When the last time you seen him? It's been a minute, right? Yeah. Let you keep growing. And he's still sitting in the same spot. You're going to keep growing. You're going to keep growing. You're going to keep growing. Now, now, you got, now you got one of the biggest interviews in the, in, in the world. Word. You come back, that nigga so mad at you because you're supposed to be his homeboy. Now he got envy. Cause hate, envy is the way you want to hate. You feel me? So when somebody envy you, they're jealous. They just want you gone. That's it. So when they see you, they may be perked up, drunk and shit. I'm gonna go kill that nigga. That, that nigga come to Spinebird. I'm gonna pull up on that. What, what, what Uncle Aaron said? Shit, when he got his shit. You got the fuck on through. Yeah, but you still gotta come back to your hood sometimes though. You can, you, can, you can still go when you come back to your hood. Like, for instance, like, I went back to Greenwood, and we were doing a bike drive. Me, CEO, Dad, you know, we were giving out bike drives to the kid. It could, a nigga could have easily seen that shit and knew he come to the hood and could have did somebody. Don't give a fuck about no kids being out there or anything. Niggas really, niggas really hate it in the streets, man. That's why I don't condone to the street shit. That's why you can never sit here and say, hey, major this, major that, because major not even in the street. Major don't club, major don't go nowhere unless I'm getting paid. Other than that, I'm at home. But well, they, well, they see they see you with the rap shit. They they see you. They see when you they like, see you in the club, they see you, but they don't really grasp like yo, you're actually working. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I went to the club one time. I went to the club one time, and they were showing me love, like security. Shout out to the security. But security, I walked up well. Security, like man, shop by man, get a picture. Right? Right. Security packed me down. One of the pictures, I walked in there with a couple people who knew who I was, you know, shot my man. What the hell you doing in Greenville? Ooh, ooh, ooh. But it was also some niggas in there, and then I knew that they like. So you know what I did? So yeah, I, <laughs> I ain't got time for it. Nigga, I ain't no pussy. I ain't scared of nothing. But I'm smart. Nigga, I play chess, man. I'm a smart nigga. What do like me going to the club to see? See the ops and say, you know what, fuck them niggas. When niggas do something, they gonna do something. Fuck, I ain't stupid, man. I got, yeah, no. I got a whole son I gotta raise, man. I got I gotta go back home, you feel me? So nigga, nigga, I'm I see there. a fight over there. If I see if I see two niggas just looking at each other crazy yeah. and I hear them, I'm going nigga, I'm gone. I'm and gone. Ain't no play for me. I ain't I ain't got time for that. I got too much going on, man. It ain't that I'm pussy. I don't give a damn, but I don't give I don't give a damn what niggas say about me. I ain't pussy, I ain't none of that. But I'm not a stupid slow nigga. I ain't stupid, I ain't slow, I don't, I don't try to be in no mix, no mess, no, none of that bullshit. Like, I'm all about getting my money and I get the hell on through. I don't flex my money, I don't do none of that. I just get what I want and I keep, keep it moving. Shit, let me hold it up. Huh? <laughs> you know? yeah. Shit, you got the money, nigga, look what I'm doing. I ain't got no money. Look what I'm doing. Shit, what you mean? Yeah, yeah. We got people watching. Mm -hmm. We got people on now. Hey, right.
right now. We hey, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Man, it's your boy Thirty Two Fur TV, man. And with Major, the hardest interview channel ever, man. We about to man drop this hard interview, man. He claimed he beat me, but he did. Man, I beat this nigga in pool, man. I'm in his house. I'm in, I'm in this whole his area, his his whatever, and I beat the man in pool, man. You know what I'm saying? Southern hospitality. Let him win just to let him win. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. What else you got for me, man? What else for you? Got for me? Yeah, yeah, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? What, what you got up next, man? You on tour? Like, you know what I'm saying? Next five, ten years, man. What you got going on? Ooh. Let me tell you something. We got a big move that's coming. Ooh, we. You know, when you see this, you're going to be like, what the fuck? That's the only thing I can say, man. Yeah. We finna work with a um, we, we got an artist that we finna work with. They gonna be dope, man. They from the Carolina? Oh yeah. Hey, we ain't trying to we we going Carolina only, man. We trying to blow up Carolina artists. Street Capital is an independent label that's trying to get a partnership with a major label. So we trying to make Street Street Capital is trying to be the first major label in South Carolina. At least one 